Get ready for Ocho Quaco. Uh, Quaker 8. Quake plus 8. Just watch the episode. Welcome, my clashing friends from around the world. Thank you for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks, where, yes, today we are highlighting attacks with eight earthquake spells, starting out with my own not so advisable use of eight earthquake spells. This was during a clan war that we had already pretty much lost. So, my second attack, I had a chance to experiment a little bit. This was also right after earthquake spells were released. So I decided to bring eight earthquake spells and use them exactly how you don't want to use them and that is by dropping every single earthquake spell directly on the town hall. Now we knew that it wasn't going to take the town hall down but rather do a percentage of the remaining hit points damage each time. So I just wanted to see how far we could get that town hall down, make it vul vul make it easy to knock over. Okay, I'm not going to skip that one. Make it vulnerable to attack. And uh, so we're going to put all earthquake spells down. And as you can see, we're getting it down to below 50% of its health. So yes, it will be a softer target once I can get units to target it. But can I get my units in there? I've got five golems, a whole bunch of witches, one P.E.K.K.A., just one jump spell. So we're just going to create one entry point towards that town hall enclosure. Basically, I realize I'm giving up the 50% right here. By doing it this way, there's a very small chance that I will be able to get to 50%. In fact, you'll notice I don't have an entry point into that town hall enclosure, so I have to rely upon my troops once they've cleared this outermost enclosure that they head in there and hopefully the clan castle troops, maybe the defending heroes, will act as that all-important magnet and help drag my troops in towards the center there is the poison spell working on the clan castle witch and the golems they look like they're going off to the left to the wizard tower that's not a good sign my king taking some damage the balloon falls on his head i use his iron fist and he is going to bust us through that wall and that will open the floodgates allowing all of my units to pour right in through that hole except for the golems who are still stuck against that wall off to the left but there is the town hall going down because it was already so badly damaged but of course, 29% and the golems still stubbornly would not come to the town hall enclosure. They finally together break through that outer wall. The queen is left by herself in the center. Lonely, she summons some archers, but they're not going to keep her company long. 36% damage. And now the queen is history. I have just a couple of extra units I can deploy on the left here. The cannon turns around, annihilates my wizard. So uh, back on the golems, they continue through. Definitely not enough remaining units to grab 10%. Although if you look at the left side of the village as that cannon falls, the golems on the archer tower, if I had a few extra units, I probably could have grabbed 50%, the queen and the king asleep on the cracked earth from eight earthquake spells, and I have to settle for a one-star war attack, but it was an interesting application, if wrongly used, of eight earthquake spells. Moving right along, we have a more proper application of eight earthquake spells from the always friendly, always smiling, Smiley Miles 24 of Lost Phoenix. And there, she opens a bunch of huge holes into this base, just creating this perfect path towards the town hall, dropping the golems in, then the wizards in behind like a typical ground attack. But so many of these walls have been taken out of the picture, it's almost inconceivable that units won't head towards that center town hall enclosure. And there they go, beginning to converge. And it looks like the Lava Hound is going to wander off to the left, and the Archer Queen with her questionable IQ, easily distracted by shiny floaty things, will follow and take it down as the single target Inferno takes down the Barbarian King. There's a pair of purple P.E.K.K.A. purposefully passing the town hall in the center. They go off and get taken down by the Teslas and the Expo. But now the Archer Queen has wound her way back and she is on that town hall. 43% damage, Royal Cloak in hand. There it is and she will finish off that town hall for the first star. And 50% is not far behind. So a very solid 8 Quake attack from Smiley Miles 24.
And as this attack wraps up, it's important to note that those earthquake spells will take out walls even five spaces apart. It is always critical to know the effective radius of your spells, not just your jump and your rage, but now your earthquake as well. So as we move on to the third replay of the day, you'll notice this attacker absolutely hates walls, bringing not only eight earthquake spells, but eight wall breakers as well. And watch the deployment of these earthquake spells. The inner earthquake spell by the town hall, that works out because it opens three separate enclosures. But that outer earthquake spell, the set of four right here, that could have been deployed further out and it would have taken out two layers of walls, instead only taking out the one layer. So obviously somebody's still experimenting with the effective range of the earthquake spell. But even though that outermost wall was not shaken down, you can still see that the earthquake spells and the wall breakers have pretty much turned nearly half of this base into one big enclosure. The poison spell going to work on those clan castle troops, but it's really the wizards that are going to get the job done. People have quickly moved away from wizards and witches in the clan castle for obvious reasons. There goes the raid spell, and now the level 40 heroes will be moving in, closing in on that town hall enclosure, pretty much nowhere else for them to go, but right at that town hall and both of the inferno towers, but they will manage to overpower those defenses and the town hall as well, and both stars will come one on top of the other, 50% and the town hall just about at the same time. Well, while it wasn't a flawless execution of the Octoquake technique, you can see it was an easy two-star with units left over afterwards, so people certainly are going to be trying different things with these Earthquake spells. Eight takes up an awful lot of spell slots. I see four Earthquakes being a little more practical, and we're actually seeing that in Lost Phoenix right now. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. You have made my day by spending a few minutes here, so go out and have a great day yourself. Don't forget to check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for more full attacks. Galidon, Octoquite, really?